Hello everyone, it's Ian here, and we're in the technology shed and we're just finishing off our stator windings and we've been using um, 0.85 and we have um, 400 turns per coil and um, this one was a reject because it only came out at 2.7 ohms and as all the others were on 3 ohms so I kind of rejected it and um, uh, may as well get it right so basically I've laid it all out so that's the stator and then over that each side you'll have a hang on a sec, so I've got one pair of hands that's it so, basically how it works, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so there's three phases, so there's three coils in per phase. So the first phase is, I call it the red phase, which is one, four and five. So now the magnets, imagine this is the rotor head and these gaps will be the magnets. So one, four and five are now over the coil and then it moves obviously, the wind turns the blades which moves the rotor so now the next phase is 2, 5 and 8 so they're now energised and then it moves again and the last one is the wooden, I call it wood <laughs> 3, 6 and 9 but when it's spinning it would be really going fast, sort of be going like that. And um yeah, so as the magnets pass over the coils, they excite the electrons in the in the cable and we create electricity. So each coil is basically being marked out um and metered out and it's about 3.1 ohms average and uh, except for this one which wasn't so we rejected it uh, we've left a bit of a gap I've kind of made these wooden things to go in the middle so basically when I pour the resin when the mould comes out they'll have holes between each coil so Hoping that's going to act as an air, a sort of kind of an airflow thing for cooling, but also um, hoping that it will sort of not stop some of the magnetic force um, dispersing between half an inch of um, resin. I don't know whether it's going to do any good, but you've got to try these things. So also, I found um, after I turn the coils, I. Um, I just put them into a bag, a vacuum infused bag, and I just wrapped them in um, in cling wrap and poured in the resin and then vacuum infused them and basically it pushes the resin into the into the coils so you get um you get a solid coil and it's really tightly wound. It's really tightly wound and very uniformed, so they all fit nice and neatly together. Uh, that's the that's the SMA inverter grid tie. So this will be 160 volts up to 400 volts, and the parameters are pretty pretty strict when it comes to voltage. So the old the old stator coil, which was 12 volt, is coming off, and it's going to be replaced with 140 volt. So. Uh, that's what I'm up to so far. Um, yeah, so I did not talk about the metering. Yeah, so each cable is about 3.1 ohms and it meters out to about 9 ohms per coil. And yeah, wiring them up. You know, all these need to be soldered up together, but it's pretty straightforward. Basically, your starts, which is 1, 2, and 3, they all go together. And then the other cable comes out. 1 goes to 4 goes to 7 and then comes out 
so that's one of your phases. Then you've got two, two, goes into two, goes into five, goes into eight, comes out. That's your second phase. And then the last start goes into three, add a three into six into nine and out. So you ended up with your three, your three um, wild AC cables. And then obviously if it's a DC motor it would go down to your rectifier. And then in this case it go into um, uh, this comes with a pro doesn't come with a protection box, you, but I've I've bought the protection box as well. So um, it goes into the protection box, which sort of kind of protects this thing from I don't know high spikes in the voltage, I suppose. So I haven't gone overboard um, with the um, the rotor size or the stator size. I want to kind of keep it around. I'd much prefer to keep the wind turbine spinning all day long making 500 watts than, than designing something that's going to make 3000 watts and something that we just can't handle. Anyway, so this is Ian from the technology shed. Uh, she's showing you the axial flux um, actual flux wind generator stator. And the next time I'll pour I'll pour the resin and we'll stick her on the to the turbine and see if she's making the power we need. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.